Truck 8 Squad, Car 3 on a reported structure fire. Or engine Company 8, 3, 6, Truck 8 Squad, Car 3 on a reported structure fire. What dangerous elements is a firefighter up against? Expect it to be dark and toxic in a fire. Expect your patient on an EMS run to have a bloodborne pathogen disease or worse. Committee one and squad reported shooting one on Alexander Ave across from Cortland Ave and Martin Luther King West. Committee one and squad. We arrive on the scene with police at stabbings and shootings. Us, the medically trained Syracuse firefighters, begin to perform life saving techniques. Blood spilled in the streets and the assailant still in the area. There is a reason we are called first responders. Perhaps there is no visible fire. Maybe the fire is out. Just a bit of carbon monoxide in the air. An invisible, odorless, and tasteless gas. The ultimate silent killer. Easter morning, 2001. Syracuse firefighters respond to a call of fire at PJ Dorsey's pub on Walton Street. Four men almost didn't make it home to their families. Some say they thought for sure we lost two. They were brought out lifeless, tongues hanging out of their mouths. Fortunately, they made it. It was a near repeat of the tragedy that was 701 University Ave, when Stanley Duda, Frank Porpiglio, Robert Schuler, and Michael Petragani were overcome with carbon monoxide and became trapped on the third floor of a large Victorian house turned into college student apartments. This building was occupied by about 15 university students at about 12.30 to 12.45, one returning student found flames and smoke, woke up the other resident of the house. It appears that all of the students except one were out of the building. The fire department started to put the fire out, advancing a hose up through the building. Heavy smoke and heavy fire. Four men have been lost here at night. This is the worst tragedy this city has had since the Collins Block fire some 40 years ago. All four men that have perished. Exposures to the most toxic smoke. Lung cancer, prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer. So many carcinogens. In the end, though, it's what we have chosen to do. Whether it's extricating someone from a wreck, or battling a dangerous fire, and live wires fall on our rig. 
or maybe just shoveling fire hydrants in a bitter Syracuse winter. Or maybe the city administration doesn't agree with us. I've been given my marching orders. It's been told to me several times, Sevens is done. They're not going to put any money into fire stations. Not like I want to do this. And if I don't, as I was told today, someone else will. We press on and keep it moving forward. We take pride in our work. We love our jobs. We are Syracuse Firefighters.